I'm going to show you a simple way to um, get images and make them an outline, which might make it easier for you to create a base for any uh, digital or drawing piece that you want to create for one of your sustained inquiry pieces. So um, I have this slide for you in the Google Classroom under assignment four. So if you look here, you can see piece four. It gives you this slide, which outlines some of the uh, resources that you'll be using. So the first thing I like to do is go to remove BG. What that's going to do is take away the background. So you can simply go upload image, uh, go to wherever it is you're keeping your images, uh, take that image, bring it in, and then what it's going to do is it'll take the background away. What that's going to do is it's going to make it easier for you then to turn it into a line drawing. So I am going to go download. All right, so now I have my image and I am going to file. I am going to just move it to uh, my desktop just so I can find it more easily. Okay, and then move. Okay, I'm going to do that with a couple more images because in that way it's a little bit easier to just have them all worked out. So I'm going to go back to upload image. Uh, it's going to take me to, I'm going to go to recent and I want to work on this one here. I'm going to click on it, and then I am going to wait for it to remove the background. Okay, and now it's taken away the background, and I am going to go download. Once again, I am going to go file, move to, and put it to my desktop. What I'm trying to do is just create a consistent place that I will be able to find these as I move on to the next step. All right, I'm going to close that one. Uh, and then I'm going to go upload image, go select another image that I want to include in this collage. Um, and I'm going to go to recent. And I wanted to take this magnolia. And I'm going to open it. And if you do decide you need to edit it, uh, each time there's this edit menu like that you would be able to change it if you want. So I'm just going to go download because I'm happy with that. Uh, and again, file, uh, move to, and then just go to my desktop. All right, um, desktop, move. And then I will do one more. Uh, and I'm going to close that. And again, just go to Upload Image, direct it to where you saved your image. In this case, I, again, I'm going to go to Recent because it's going to be easiest to find it. And then I want to go ahead and get this bridge. So I'm going to go Open. And now I have my bridge. And again, I'm going to go Download. I'm going to go File, Move to desktop and now I will be able to have them all there okay move okay so your next step is once you have these images and you've removed their background uh, you're then going to go into on this slide here um, you can see that it says rapid sizer so you're going to go on to that link there and what this one's going to do is allow you to take your drawing and make it into a line drawing. So you're going to go use an image from your device, tell it where to go. I mean, mine, I'm going to go get the bird first. And then what this is going to do is give you the option to go ahead and play with these adjustments to get it to a place where you feel that you're getting enough information uh, to be able to draw the details that you see. So, uh, and there's different ones that you could do. You can do this adaptive one. I like that. It sort of opens up the space a little bit more. Uh, and with this one, uh, it's going to work a little different. So you are going to have to right mouse button copy and go save image as. And then I am going to go uh, crow. And I want to save it to um, my desktop. Well, actually, uh, I'll just go mission for now. Okay, save. And now I have an outline of the bird. I can then, um, 
I'm going to work with those in a little bit. So then I want to go ahead and I want to uh, close this. And then I can upload my other one. So I'm going to go use an image from my device, go pick my other one. So I want to get this bridge. So I'm outlining it so I can get just the main details. Uh, I think I want a little bit more detail, so I'm gonna pull this back to make it a little bit darker so I can get more detail. And then I like that, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna, oops, oh, wait. Uh, so I'm gonna go here and I am gonna go, actually, let me go back, sorry. I, Oh no, uh, I'm going to go download. I went to the wrong button. And then I'm just gonna go right mouse button, copy, copy image. Um, and then, um, I mean, actually save, uh, save image as, sorry about that. And I am going to call it bridge. And I'm gonna save here and go save. Okay, so now I have my bridge, and then I'm going to do the same thing for my other two images. So I'm gonna go back up to the top, close this down, okay, go uh, use an image from my device, go to my Magnolia, bring it in here, and I think that's perfect. So I'm gonna go, get ready to print one page, right mouse button, save image as, and I'm gonna go Magnolia. And again, I'm gonna just go to the same folder, save, and then I'll do my last one. So what this is doing is it's allowing you to have uh, your images but it's sort of breaking them up into a more simplified line. And that's a really great thing. If you have access to a printer, you could actually uh, create your collage and then print it out, uh, put it under a piece of paper up to a window and um, be able to uh, create um, a uh, duplicate of it so that you can see better what it is that you're drawing. Actually, I think it was better here. So you just sort of play around with each of these uh, and um, decide which one you like. This one gives you lots of different lines. Threshold is gonna make it more like a stencil. Uh, so if you're doing a cut stencil, you could play with that. But I'm gonna just come in here. I'm gonna take that. I think that gives me enough information and I'm going to go here. And once again, right mouse button, copy, save, Im save image as, I'm gonna call Mary, and then I am going to go save. Okay, so now I have all of my elements. Then where you're gonna go, and you can find it right here, is you'll go to the Pixlr E, um, and then uh, go to that window, and you are going to go file, uh, go new. Oh wait, I think I need to go back here. Let me go back out here. I'm going to go back to Pixlr E uh, and just go in so I have the option to do a new one. So I want to go create new and I'm going to do full high definition and then I'm going to go create, well, I'll call it a uh, collage bridge. Great. Okay, so now I have my canvas um, and I am going to then just start putting my images into the canvas. So I'm going to go file and I'm going to go um, edit uh, image. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, open image. I'm gonna go to my recents. I'm gonna first start by bringing in the bridge. And then what I'll do is go Control All, Control C, and then I'm gonna go into my document and go Control V. Okay. 
Okay. Now you see you have the cursor there, so you can just pull it out and decide what what size you want your image to be. So I'm going to just start with that right there, um, and then um, I wonder if I can rotate image rotation canvas canvas size. Maybe I want to change this to 1080 and that 1080 and this one to 1920. So it's more uh, like my bridge. It's going to give me, oh, what did I do? Uh, oops. Uh, sorry. Image. Okay. Uh, adjustment, filter, uh, uh, image, canvas size. Oops, I forgot a one there. Uh, 0, 10, 80. Okay, there, that'll be better. All right, so now you can see that it's more close to the proportions of my bridge, which is what I wanted to do. All right, so uh, I'm going to come in there, pull that in there, and now I'm going to go get my other images. Now, for piece number four, you are trying to either use pattern or repetition uh, in this, or, or uh, to create some interest. Um, and so I can go, and now I'm going to go file, open image, and I will go get um, my bird here. And I'm going to go here. And oh, no, that's the wrong bird. Oops. Uh, file, open image. We've got to look more carefully uh, to go to recent and get my outlined one. There we go. And put that there, command all, command C, or edit, select all, edit, copy. And then I'm gonna go into my document and I'm gonna go command V. And so now I have my bird here. So I can figure out where and what size I want it to be. Okay, like that. Um, now you'll notice that uh, it is, uh, bringing in all of that white background. So at some point, um, I'm going to have to uh, select, come in here and just use this tool uh, to remove that excess white so I can see what's behind it. So I'm going to just come in there and just do a loose one there so you can see. And then you just sort of carve out the area that you don't want. Right there. Oh, except I did it on the wrong layer. Look at that. I'm showing you all the tricks. So remember, you should be on the layer and you can always go back in history to undo what you did. So this is the layer that I wanted to remove the white on. Okay. Uh, and then uh, you can just bring each thing in. Uh, I'm going to go select, deselect. So there's nothing selected. File. Uh, open image. I'm going to go get another one of my images here. I'll go get the magnolia and I'm going to come in here and I am going to, um, I think this time I might just go like this and take, go like this part here and just do it in this window uh, so that I have less of that space around it. So I can come in here and just outline that and get mostly the object. Okay. And come in here, do, do, do. go down there. And then I'm going to go Command C and I'm going to go Command V. And now you can see it pasted it in. And uh, I'm going to go into the Move tool and I can just sort of bring this in here without all that excess background there. So that is a good thing to do. Um, so then I have my one last image. I have my Mary and, you know, I can play a little bit more with the scaling of these things, but I'm just trying to show you how you would take your images and bring them in. So I'm going to go file, go open image again, go to wherever it is that you saved it. If you're on a Mac, recents is very helpful because it just shows you the, the last thing that you opened. And now again, I'm going to just use this tool and I want to remove a lot of that white area around here. So I'm going to just come in and take this and just get mostly the object without eating into the object. So I'm going to try and carefully drag and select the area, um, the outer contour of my image here. 
and come in here, up here, uh, and try not to go into the image because I don't want to lose any parts. So I'm just going to come in here like this and go Command C. And then I'm going to just go back to my collage and I can go Command V. And now I have my Mary in there and I can uh, click on it to, uh, as long as I'm on the move tool, I can then click on it and I can change the size of it, right? So now if I wanted to use, uh, you know, a little bit more, uh, if I wanted to use repetition in this one, I could uh, easily, you know, duplicate. So I could go uh, control C, control V, and it's gonna, oh, give me the last one. So I wanna be on this one here, control C, control V. Oh no, I guess you can't do that. I guess you have to go like this and go uh, layer, uh, duplicate layer. Okay, so now then I'll have like a couple flowers here. So maybe I want to put one down like the birds coming up out of it. Okay, and I can also play with the scale of this, right? So I could make it bigger or smaller. Maybe I want this one bigger. Uh, and then you can also arrange the layers. So if you want to go uh, uh, select a layer, uh, I know it's going to be... Uh, bring forward okay and then what that's going to do is it's going to bring this in front okay so um that way you can just sort of play with them and so maybe i'm going to make one here and then i'll just take another one and go uh layer duplicate layer uh and then i can just pull that up and then i have another one there okay uh so um yeah, so that's basically um, letting you know uh, how you can um, play with uh, your different images and make them linear. So then when you print this out, that you could then actually uh, have more of a line type drawing that you could then trace and um, you could then print. Okay, so that is that. Um, so I hope that's helpful.